right, thanks for watching. And in school, you probably learned that one over x plus y is not the same as one over x plus one over y, but you may ask for which x and y is this true? So watch this video to find out. And this you'll see, it's not hard to do because let's put everything on a common denominator, one over x plus y, that becomes, I think, y over xy plus x over xy, so one over x plus y, that is y plus x over xy. And now just cross multiply this. So then this becomes one times xy. So xy equals y plus x times x plus y. So x plus y squared. So xy, again, expanding this out is x squared plus two xy plus y squared. And then in the end, what we get putting this xy here, we get x squared, 2xy minus xy, that's just xy, plus xy plus y squared equals zero. Now, at this point, you're probably stuck, but here's a very clever insight. Notice this is a quadratic equation in x, because this becomes x squared plus yx plus y squared equals zero. So using the quadratic formula, we can actually solve for x in terms of y because x becomes, so minus b, so minus y, plus or minus square root of y squared minus four times one times y squared over two a over two. And so x becomes minus y plus or minus square root of minus three y squared over two. And already here we can say, this has no solutions in the real numbers. So no real solution. So there are no x and y real, such that one over x plus y equals one over x plus one over y. However, interestingly, if you look more in the complex numbers, you get something quite interesting. And um, just for here, for simplicity, let's say, suppose y is real and y is positive, just to make things easier, but I think the general case is similar. Then what do you get here? So x is minus y plus or minus square root of minus three square root of y squared over two. And this now simplifies to minus y plus or minus, again, square root of three i times y over two. Or in other words, y times minus one half plus or minus square root of three i over two. And this actually is quite interesting because what is that? So minus one half plus or minus square root of three i over two. Well, remember cosine of two pi over three plus i sine of two pi over three. That's precisely minus one half plus i square root of three over two. So what this becomes, it's simply e to the two pi i over three, but to get this minus, you just do plus minus times y. So in other words, at least for y real and positive, what do the solutions look like? It's quite an interesting geometry. So if y is here, again, real and positive, then this angle is zero, but what this is saying is x is on the same circle of radius y, but on uh, an angle of two pi over three and also an angle of minus two pi over three. So in other words, if you like all the solutions, maybe not quite solutions, but why this first x and this second x, they actually lie on an equilateral triangle with again, angle 60 degrees. 
So again, who would have known? How cool is that? Even though, again, one over x plus y is not one over x plus one over y, somehow the solutions, again, at least with y real and positive, they lie on this equilateral triangle. And my guess is for the other ones, also probably some similar geometric effect. All right, I hope you like this little complex teaser. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.